Hey everybody, my name is Laura and today we are going to be making a paint by number succulent um, for both teens and adults. It looks a little something like this. So if you aren't super artistic, which I'm not, then uh, this is a really easy way to make a beautiful piece of artwork for your home. To get started, we have our um, kit right here that you can get from the library. So um, I'm gonna open that up. So inside of your kit, you're gonna have um, quite a few things. So we have a, a little um, flyer for our next month uh, in-person program for April. Uh, we also have some information about um, different tri or, uh, different um, classes that we're having here at the library. Um, you might have a little bit different stuff if it's a teen kit, this is an adult kit, but there's really no difference in the main part of the kit. There's also a book list on here about painting. Most of these are from um, Hoopla, but some of them are physical books, but you can um, go into Hoopla and anybody can check these out <clears throat> um, at any time. So uh, you are free to go in there and look at those. There's also more on there um, about this and many other things, so be sure to check that out. You will also have um, two like eight and a half by 11 sheets. One of them is going to be um, a small version of your painting. And this is so if you make a mistake or you accidentally cover something up or something like that, um, you can go back and reference it using this page. The last page is an example of what it will look like when it's all finished. Um, so we, these are the colors that you have and this is the numbers that they're associated with. So um, this is what it should or pretty close will look like when you're all finished. You will have a brush, um, a little brush right here. And then you will also have um, paint. So uh, you have seven different colors um, and they have all been mixed. There's not a lot of paint in there, but that's okay. You don't need a lot of paint um, in order to do this project, but all of them are labeled with the number that corresponds to um, your uh, sheet. So um, just keep that in mind. And then the last thing is going to be your actual paint by number. So um, this is 11 by 17, so it's a little bit bigger. Um, I recommend probably taking this out and um, maybe flattening it, uh, putting it under some books for a couple of days or something. I'm just gonna roll it in the other direction and that probably should be good enough, but if you need to, you can also um, tape down the corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and flatten it out a little bit by rolling in the opposite direction like this. And then that actually flattened it out quite a bit. So I'm gonna move my paint off to the side. Um, so this is gonna be your um, full project. So the other things you might wanna have with you, well you probably definitely are gonna wanna have with you, some paper towels um, and then a cup with water in it. So this is just, um, you know, a, you know, disposable cup and then it has water in it so that we can use that to wipe off um, when we need to change colors. So you can kind of start this however you like. Um, I usually try and start from the middle. Um, so I've got my brush here. I'm going to wet it a little bit just so that um, make sure that it's ready to go. You may notice like if there's some little bits that seem extra long on there, you can just trim those off um, using a pair of scissors. Otherwise they might get in your way a little bit. But So if they're a little bit long, you can trim it. But this one is already trimmed. So I wet it already. I'm gonna go ahead and um, squeeze it between my paper towels to try and get any excess water in there. We want it damp, but we don't necessarily want it wet. So I am going to start with I think number two. So number two is this lighter color. Um, so all we're gonna do is just open it up and um, just put some paint on our brush 
and then we start painting within the number twos. So I usually like to try and paint over the lines a little bit because we don't want our finished product to show lines. Um, so um, don't let your brush get too dry when you're painting um, because the more paint sort of you lay down, the more it will cover so it won't be splotchy. So I usually start, um, depending on what I'm doing, I'll usually start left to right, just because I am right-handed, so that way I won't be putting my hand um, in paint that's you know potentially still sort of wet. But um, you can start however you like. You can start at the top, you can start at the bottom, you can start at the middle, you can start with your darkest colors. Some people do that. Um, so it's really up to you. This is completely up to you. Um, the nice thing about this is that it is pretty forgiving. So if you don't have a super steady hand, that's okay. Um, you just sort of paint as you go. It's also just really good practice for painting. If you don't have a lot of experience with painting, um, this is really good practice for that. So it's really self-explanatory pretty much. Um, <laughs> you have all your numbers, one through seven on here, and then you just paint your corresponding spots. I'm gonna do one more spot. So I usually use the paint on the lid first, if there's paint on the lid, just cause it will dry out when um, you are you know when while you're painting if you're using the other stuff so I usually use this paint first because I uh, like to be economical with my paint usage but I have done this with the paint that you are given and you do have enough paint so um, it, like I said it may not look like a lot but you're not actually using a lot either because you're not putting it on that thickly um, so I'm gonna do this one last piece And if you get outside the lines a little bit, that's okay too, because we're just gonna go back and um, we're gonna use the color next to it. So it's not the end of the world. So I am going to switch to a new color and I'm gonna rinse off my brush in here. Really good, make sure there's no green left on there. And then squeeze it in between those paper towels so that it's good and dry. And then we can switch to the next color. I'm sure you guys don't really want to watch me paint all of this, so we are going to uh, switch to one that is mostly finished. Alright, so this one is mostly finished. Um, as you can see, it looks um, quite a bit like this one now. Um, we are mostly finished. Um, don't worry too much about the edges because you have the option of cutting those off or folding them back. So um, if you paint over a little bit, that's perfectly okay. Um, so this one looks pretty good. We've got most of the spots. Um, so we did have a couple of colors that didn't cover very well. Unfortunately, both the purples didn't cover all that well. So you'll notice this one right here. I haven't done this one yet. Um, you can still sort of see all the brush strokes and it's not very even. Um, if we add another layer of the paint, um, it will help even out those colors. So like this one, these I've already done. Same way with the, pur the lighter, darker purple. It made it sort of really dark, unfortunately, but you know, it's better than looking really splotchy. So we're going to paint um, these last couple of bits. We're gonna double paint these so that um, they don't look splotchy. So we're just gonna go back over. Um, 
if you make any mistakes while you're uh, making, you know, working on your project, um, it's really not a problem to just go back and work on it later um, or go back and um, paint it, fix it later. Um, like, I accidentally dropped my brush at one point and um, I had to paint over, <laughs> so I ended up with little splotches all over um, and I had to paint over that. So um, you can also always reference, so if you've forgotten something or you missed a spot, you can go back and double check like, oh yeah, this belongs with number four, so I'm going to paint this with whatever my number four num uh, color is. So here is this piece over here that we are painting right now, I'm going to paint that. And I am also going to, I have a couple little purple ones here, dark purple that I'm going to paint over. So you can see it's sort of splotchy. So I'm going to paint over those. Just whenever you're not painting, make sure you cover, you put the lids back on your paint, um, otherwise it will dry out. If your paint is too thick, you can always add some water to it, but um, I recommend trying to paint with it first to see if it's too thick, um, because you might want it a little bit thicker than it already is, um, but uh, it shouldn't, you know, depending on how long it sit, the paint sits, it shouldn't get too thick. And then I have this one little spot over here. And yeah, otherwise it looks pretty good. I think this is um, pretty much how I wanted it. So um, every bit's painted in. I have also double painted some areas. Um, that were a little splotchy and have also um, uh, just made sure that all of my spots were covered up. So um, actually this is pretty well finished. Um, you can either, like I said, you can either cut off the edges or you can um, fold them back. Either way works, just that way you won't see the edges. Um, as with anything, I think paint with paint by number looks a little bit better um, when you're <laughs> kind of far away from it. So, um, you know, don't feel bad if it looks a little weird up close. Um, it will look better when it's a little bit further away. So, I've got a little bit of blue here. I think I'm going to touch up this blue a little bit. Again, this is just really good practice for painting um, and, you know, using a brush because, you know, it's a skill. Like so many other things, this is um, a really good practice for skills. So painting is a skill, using a paintbrush is a skill, um, and so the more that you practice, the better you will be with it and the better or the more likely your brush will do what you want it to do when you are using it. This was the last section I did, so some of it may look, I have not double painted, or I haven't touched up any of this. So I'm just touching up now. But however much you want to touch up, that's completely up to you. I think I'm pretty well finished now, so um, I am going to quit while I'm ahead before I drop my brush again or something like that. Um, it's nice because you can kind of see comparatively it looks pretty similar to what you have um, on your sheet. Mine is extra large, but um, you know, it looks pretty similar, so I'm happy with the results. Um, I hope you enjoy it too. So um, we are doing adult in-person and 
um, adult and teen in-person classes at our libraries this month so the adult class will be at the end of the month the fourth Sunday um, and we'll be doing these actually for both classes we'll be doing these pom-pom um, cactuses so please register for that um, and we'll be doing those for adults and teens the teens will be on the third Tuesday of the month at Sam Garcia <clears throat> and at the fourth Tuesday of the month uh, at Civic Center Library so uh, we'll be doing these for both age groups they're really cute um, and I like how they turned out this is an in-person program so uh, please make sure to register for those we also have some other adult classes going on um, that I mentioned earlier, computers um, and other assorted things. So uh, please check out our website and see all of the classes that we have available um, upcoming. And summer reading is coming. We will be starting summer reading at the beginning of June. We'll have all sorts of special programs for adults and teens. So um, definitely be on the lookout for that. All right, well, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed making your paint by number succulent and um, getting those skills and practicing. So uh, we will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.